I've got good news. I've created another widget that you guys have been requesting for a long time. In fact, you have been requesting this widget since the Birdie Boutique website, which I made, I want to say, almost two years ago now. And uh, it had to do with uh, a popular website created by Apple for the Mac Pro. And what they did was they made it so that when you began to scroll, it automatically scrolled down to the next section, which I am currently trying to simulate with my fingers, and I miss every time. Now, it's cool to let the user scroll, and with anchors, we're able to hyperlink to those anchors and jump people from section to section. But a lot of you guys asked when I showcased the Birdie Boutique website why I didn't have it set up so that you can start to scroll and it'll automatically go to the next section when you start to scroll. And the short answer is I didn't know how to do it back then. Uh, but in the meantime, I've kind of put it on the back burner and now I've got a widget created for you guys that is free. You can go download it right now from museresources.com. It's called Magnetic Scroll Anchors. So essentially, you set up your anchors on your page at the start of each section that you would like to lock people into and those anchors look like this. So we've got this little box here, looks like a boat anchor, and it's lined up with the top of this section, and I've got another one down here. I've named them so that I can hyperlink to them easily, uh, but for this, we don't actually even need to name them. Uh, I recommend naming them so you can keep track of them, but it is not required for this widget to work. Uh, you will, however, want to create one at the top because it jumps from anchor to anchor, and if there's not an anchor at the top, it can't jump back up to the top. It'll jump to the highest anchor, which in my case is all the way down here, but it won't go back up to the top. So uh, it is nice to create one at the top, otherwise users might get frustrated that they can't get back to the top. Even if you don't think there's a reason for them to get back up there, I would still create an anchor and name it top. Uh, so for those of you who didn't catch how I did that just now, there is an anchor button on the toolbar of Adobe Muse. So you just click on that and then you click to place the anchor and it'll prompt you to give it a name. So now that I've got my anchors in there, I'm gonna drag my magnetic scroll anchors widget on there and I can set a transition duration for myself. Uh, by default, it's at 700 milliseconds. Uh, if I turn it up, I can slow it down. If I turn it down, I can speed it up. Uh, so essentially this is 0.7 seconds. And then my easing style, I can either have it ease in and out, ease in only, or ease out only. But I recommend leaving it on ease in and out so it is as smooth as it can be. So now I'm going to preview it in the browser. I'm gonna do Shift Command E to preview in the browser. And now that I've got it in the browser, I'll begin scrolling and it automatically jumps me down to the next section, begins scrolling again, and it does so again and again and again. Now, if you're on a Mac with inertia, uh, scrolling inertia, where you scroll and it keeps going and going and going, you may notice that it jumps two sections ahead. Uh, that's only if you scroll really hard. So if you scroll gently, or if you're on a PC with a traditional scroll wheel, uh, or you're just not a scrolling maniac, then you'll have nothing but success with this widget. It looks really good really smooth and it allows you to really have a ton of control over your parallax scrolling effects. So hopefully you guys like this widget. You guys have been requesting it for a long time and I'm very glad that I've been able to provide you with it. So go to museresources.com and go ahead and download that for free on the library widgets page. All right guys, enjoy and uh, I'll have more cool stuff coming soon so please subscribe if you haven't already.